Today we're going to learn how to program our remote to our retractable awning as well as our wind sensor to our retractable awning. The first step that you're going to want to do is make sure that your awning is plugged in. In order to program your remote to your retractable awning, it's very simple. All you do is turn your remote over, slide this off, and there is a P2 button right here. You're going to want to hit that twice, and then you're going to want to turn this over and hit the up button once. Now that we have programmed our awning remote to the awning, it is time to program our wind sensor to the awning. You can see that the back of the wind sensor gets bolted to what we call the valance bar. We just insert two bolts right here so that it is nice and secure. And this is the front part of the wind sensor. When we flip this over, we, re we reveal this black part of the wind sensor. This simply removes by pulling the top part out. In order to program your wind sensor, it is important to know that it takes two AAA batteries. So we pop those batteries in there, and then we want to make sure that the sensitivity knob is at zero. That's very important for programming your wind sensor to your awning. You'll see that it starts at zero, and then the numbers go all the way to nine. Number one is the most sensitive, and nine is the least sensitive. We suggest to have your wind sensor at a setting of three. But for right now, we're gonna keep it at zero because that's what you need for programming it. Now that our sensitivity is set at zero and our batteries are inside the wind sensor, it's time to program. Make sure you have your remote handy and this part of the wind sensor. I've already removed the back of my remote and I've revealed the P2 button and I'm going to click this twice. And then we come back to the wind sensor. There's a little button next to the sensitivity nodule. All we do is hit that once. You're gonna hear that beep, and that means your wind sensor is programmed. Now that we have programmed the wind sensor to the awning, we're gonna to wanna to make sure and move our sensitivity down just a little bit. So we were at zero when we programmed, and now we're gonna to wanna to move it to around three. SunPro has found that three on the sensitivity for wind sensors is perfect. You just find a small tool like what I have here. You insert that and you spin it to the desired number. I have mine on three. So now what we do is place that black part back into the wind sensor. Make sure it's nice and secure. We walk over here and we reinstall our wind sensor on to the back just like that. If you find that when you attach the wind sensor to your awning and the awning is retracting out rather than in, that just means that you need to reverse the wind sensor. It's very easy to do. You remove the back, you hold this button down, you hear a first beep, and then you wait for that second beep, and that means the wind sensor has reversed itself. Now that we have successfully programmed the wind sensor to the awning, we can test it. And we just shake the valance bar, and the awning is now retracting in by itself. That is a sign that the wind sensor is programmed successfully to the awning.